Will Jada was the woman that everybody oh, wanted. And Will needed that validation to have that type of woman. You saw her say that Will Smith had a small dick? Oh, I am what? saying to you, if a woman is used to something the size of a baby leg and you come in with a pinky toe, there's nothing you can do to please her. You Facts. can buy her 80 cars. You can get her 80 private jets. If she's itching for that baby leg, she wants that baby leg. You can beat a person so much that they fall into submission. And who needs enemies when they got friends like you? Oh, I could tell you Mr. what Bourgeois. goes on in, in, on the inside. Everybody else is just speculation. So I'm running all over the, the, the studio. He's not in his dressing room. I go to the cafeteria. I'm like, well, but I see his car there. I'm like, He's where's this right guy this. at? So now I'm holding Dwayne down too. So I have the keys to his dressing room. So I'm like, yo, and they're calling my, my they, I'm on walkie talkie and they're calling my cell phone. Yo, we need to get Will here. I'm like, yo, kind of fucked down. Like I'm trying to find is like, this is, this is unlike him, right? So all right, I open the um, door to Dwayne's dressing room and that's when I see Dwayne and having anal sex with Will. Oh God. Let me process that for a second. Let me process that for a second. And, um, oh, yeah. Will was bent over on the couch and Dwayne was standing up, killing him. Murder. Like, murder. It was murder, murder in there. Murder, she wrote. I'm bringing something to the screen, though. <laughs> you sure you're going to bring on the screen on that? Oh, my God. I mean, hey, I mean, you heard it. What do you, what do you feel? I mean, I thought this. I thought Will Smith saved us from the aliens and more in many movies, in Men in Black 1 and 2, and in also Independence Day. But then now he's getting bent over on a couch. I'm just, he could defeat the aliens, but he couldn't defeat. He can't save his butthole? Yeah. Nah. Hey, I mean, it's, it's like I am legend. Only one. But, I mean, if you didn't know, I mean, this whole Will Smith situation is just getting crazy and crazy. Jada Pickens book just dropped. And uh, she said they suing. They Jada, Yeah, she's saying she's suing. So, allegedly, 40 years, Will Smith alleged Mr. Boussois' best friend. 40 years has turned his back on will you know he's saying he's tired of the disrespect he's tired of being will smith you know assistant but i'm gonna let y'all know the news he letting you know back in the day when all of us was going on that you know he was working with will smith a lot real heavy and he was working with Dwayne martin he caught Dwayne and du will smith doing some crazy things and ever since that situation happened jada speaker smith has been trying to you know talk to him Ever since then, I mean, this is crazy. Like, are you surprised that uh, all this stuff is coming out about Will Smith? <clears throat> no. All these I parties. Feel like, I like, feel what's like the there's going to be one more step in his uh, humiliation. What? Is, what is it? I mean, and he's this already. Is just... This is it. This is the final step. So, I mean, he, so you do? You do you think, think that he's going to like? <clears throat> and I hope this doesn't happen. Mm -hmm. Let me just put that out there. Do you think it's going to pop up that like he? Offed himself or something to Will Smith, yeah. Nah, I mean, like, they're saying a lot of things happen when when people make books, and this guy right here <clears> is <throat> selling the book. He got a book finna come out called Will and Jada the Demonic Circle. Oh my god, that's what he's finna name. So he's, he, is, is he letting in on like uh, the selling your soul and going? Uh, I mean, he said he said has a lot of evidence, so he said what how the book's gonna go. He's gonna have the book and, and doing like every page, like you know, how some books have certain pages with like his uh questionnaires, it's gonna have QR codes. Yeah. And you're gonna scan the QR code. And he has he said he said he has evidence, like he has uh he has voice messages from uh, Jada Pickett Smith trying to uh basically make her go to these alleged celebrity oh, centers. Oh, like Scientology stuff, yeah. Right? That she he has uh pictures of certain things, he has emails. He just has a lot of, you know, it's just crazy how, you know, somebody can be your best friend for 40 years and then turn your back on you. And he did the, he did, he did the Tasha K interview for free. He didn't, she didn't even pay him for it. Nah, I ain't doing that. I'm getting paid. Nah, he said he did I'm getting paid for my trauma. I mean, it's not really trauma. I mean. That is trauma. How is it? You're walking in on your supposed friend that you just think is a normal person. And then he's getting his back blown out. Like, nah, like. That's it's Hollywood. Scar your life. It's Hollywood. Things happen. So is that what's, is that what's gonna happen to you? Are you no. gonna be Hollywood? No, you're going Hollywood. First. I ain't you're going Hollywood. Get you first. I ain't going. <laughs> no, you know, I heard. Uh, I think uh -huh. on a million dollars worth of game, uh, I forget who it was, but they were saying that like once you get to a certain uh, level and like allegedly with the Illuminati, like there's like there's three doors you could go through. I mean, there's, you see, like, they trying to get a little baby. You, you could go like with us or against us. Or you could just 
kind of go on your own and just have you know mediocre success you only reach a certain level you'll never get to like you know be a consistent superstar Mm. or you can sell your soul and be like an icon or you can like go against us and they take you out that's how i mean that's how it is because i mean they they taking people uh, what's who's the host on that show again what show uh not million dollars um dream champs Oh, uh, Nori and uh, Nori. Yeah, no, yeah. He was he was the one I believe saying that he chose just to go his own route. I mean, and he, that he didn't want to be a part of like uh, selling your soul. So do you think it's like usually you got to? It's like usually you got to do something where it's like uh-huh. like this, where it's like you do something nasty because you know mm-hmm. I'm not really religious, so I don't really care. But supposedly, you know, that's against like one of the books. So they say that like you're doing that to promote like uh, allegedly like Satanism. And then it's like, um, so, or, or you got to set, you got to, you either got to commit acts like that. Uh-huh. So if you're like straight, you got to go the other way or you got to sacrifice someone or you got to do something else. I mean, they saying, I mean, them, him going, him basically going to, it's basically not sacrificing, mm-hmm. basically like having all these little crazy parties. It's not crazy because he did the movie six degrees of separation where, you know, he, he, he played a, you know, a little curious role. It's crazy because we think that, like, the uh, Roman times are over. It's never over. And it's, like, with all those, like, you know, weird orgies that they would have in the Roman times, like, uh, there's been a, a handful of shows. The like Diddy HBO, parties. Like, the, Gladiator. The, I don't know what it the was. The Dwayne Way parties. Yeah, and it's funny just it's like, those stuff actually go on and then they try to keep it hush-hush. And especially, allegedly, everything that happened on epstein island and then anyone that's actually gonna spill the details and all the celebrities or all the crimes committed there they end up like they allegedly um you know take themselves out so do you think illuminati is scientology mm-hmm. no i believe that there's, like this i another... believe there's different factions and each one has varying difference level so like power join, levels so either you join illuminati illuminati you yeah. join t- scientology or yeah you... I, I i think they might be same and kind of interconnected they might be like, you know, it's, I don't know if, if they're like feuding sets or if they're like allied, like, like, you know, they're like, we're, oh yeah, we're each our own thing, but like, we're kind of uh-huh. like, you know, teamed up almost like, you know, like with the Chicago gangs. Like, Cause yeah. You know, I mean, cause it mainly looks like movie stars and like TV show stars sign up for Scientology. That's basically what it is. And like when you, that's when you got money, when like when you got, when at first it's like, I guess it's like Illuminati. When you got like, I money, like Jay-Z them, you Illuminati. But when you got that money, money, money. Do you go sign full science? Well, I guess Jay Z got a that, billion. That's what happened with that '70s show guy, Danny Masters. Yeah, they said that the like he show? had his Scientology pe- people allegedly because we got to keep saying that because we don't want to end up like Tasha K. Facts. Um, that like he was like you know had was like taking out his ex's dogs mm-hmm. and like having them followed and having like their home vandalized when they would leave, and it was like all these like weird messages to kind of like supposedly scare her from like testifying or going against him. So it's like, you know, supposedly if you join one of these things, you kind of get a certain level of power. I mean, how would you like it if you had kind of, you know, someone that had dirt on you or if you had an enemy, so to speak, and you could like sick your people on them? You know, I need this person follow. Imagine breaking the house. I need a message sent to this person so they need to, they need, know that they need to be quiet. But I don't understand what breaking in your house is going to do. Like, I'm going to, they're going to keep breaking the house until, until what? Until well, like no, I, I mean, move? Might, no, but it's not that you move. It's just that you're not like going to the law mm. or like going to talk about the situation. Like, like you're trying to scare you. Be, yeah, they're trying to scare you into submission. Mm, you're trying to mind fuck you like Diddy. Diddy ain't just trying to do it in the mind. <laughs> You that's the difference nah but speaking now nah, before we move on how'd you feel about the whole jada pickett smith needing the baby leg comment how she saying if you got a small leg you know you got a pinky finger you can't satisfy that because if you didn't know i guess in will smith, will smith allegedly has a pinky finger no no in will smith book he talks about how he had to go to a sex counselor because he was determined to please jada and what, like, he wasn't doing it, or? I guess he wasn't doing it enough, because if you didn't know, in Jada Pickett Smith's book, she talks about how, like, she first started discovering herself when, like, she was, like, 10, nine, 8 and 10 years old. That's when she started, like, doing it. And then, like, uh, what he said, and, like, also the dude, the 40-year-old friend is saying, like, you know, I guess Jada Pickett Smith's from Baltimore. And when Baltimore, she was, like, one of, she was, like, one of the one of the cutest girls in Baltimore, so, like, all the drug dealers used to talk to her, but he was, like, oh. Hey. Cause Back you, when she wasn't G.I.J. Because you know in the book, Jada Pickett-Smith talks about how she used to sell drugs. 
and he's like, nah, you ain't sell drugs. You was a girlfriend of a drug dealer. And like, you know, time to time, you know, you're a girlfriend, boyfriend to give it to you. Go hand it to this person. So she's like, yeah, you was yeah. doing that. And also you say you was getting flipped and ran, getting trains ran on you and everything. Allegedly. This God, is what, dang. He was going in. This is what she said she going to sue him. It's funny. A lot, I've seen where people uh, photoshopped. You see where she's like kind of like this exact picture mm -hmm. where they photoshopped it, where it's like, you know, you know, Tupac was spitting out the at the people yeah. one time when it was like or out the window. But it is. It is it, the, yeah. And then like they put like her, his outfit on her and even put the uh, bandana with the tie. They try to get on out. Jada. It was pretty hilarious. Disrespectful. But, I mean, I don't know, man. I think Will Smith is kind of sucks because I really liked Will Smith. I thought it was cool. But it's like as the years go on, like literally like these past like 10, 12 years, it's like really my opinion of him has uh, completely changed. And it's a shame because um, I used to think he was like pretty cool. He's still I pretty cool. Like, you know, I like his kids. Uh -huh. uh, they're pretty cool. Um, Jaden tries to do that environmental stuff. I think he has his own shoe at New Balance. I actually like some of the he music does. that he put out. Um, he has what, water bottles. Yeah, water bottles. He's trying to save the planet with those like paper water bottles, and then uh, Willow's actually she's a pretty good artist. Mm -hmm. She's talented herself. She makes like kind of uh, emo music. Emo music. Yeah, kind of like it could be like yeah considered that. Uh, I forget what is the mm -hmm. like soft rock. What is that called? Yeah, I, I don't pop rock. Yeah, kind of stuff like that, and also kind of like synthesizer. I just wonder she what she does like all kinds of music. Really, she's even done rock songs. I just wonder she's what she's pretty good. I see, I've actually seen the kids live. Mm -hmm. Me and my sister one time went to go see him live. Who Willow Smith? Willow and Jaden. Was it we good? We saw him in Austin. Oh yeah, I remember you told me that. Was it good? Yeah, it was like a cheap show. It was like in a medium sized venue, uh -huh. and we could sit right there. And it was like, man, it was like they both put on a good show. This is at that time. I think Jaden had to like just put out a that few, Batman, Batman song. Like it was yeah, a little bit after that where he had Batman and a few songs. I think he had a big song with Young Thug, and a couple other songs. Like he had a handful of songs and music videos that were doing big numbers, and uh, so it was cool to see him. Mm. But enough about this topic here, man. Comment below. Let me know how you feel about the whole Will and Jada situation. Do you feel like there's going to be more things coming out later? Do you feel like, I mean, all of Hollywood is on that LGBT stuff? I'm just saying. And you want to be Hollywood. Nah, I don't want to be that famous. Mm, I'm good. You love Hollywood. Don't lie. Hollywood's your favorite. Mm -mm. Shout, out, shout out Hollywood. You're not going to see me at one of those 